Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Let's do another in-depth perfume review. And today we are talking about the Vacation fragrance. <laughs> this is from the, uh, quote, world famous um, Vacation Sunscreen Company. I actually picked this perfume up last year uh, via Ulta. Ulta offers this fragrance. It's also available at several other like high-end retailers. You can find this at Nordstrom, a few other places. I will, of course, be linking it down below. You can also purchase it directly from the Vacation uh, Sunscreen website. Um, it is one fluid ounce and it is only an eau de toilette. So this is not even an eau de parfum. I will say the lasting power of this one will probably disappoint you if you are used to wearing eau de parfums. Um, it, it definitely fades significantly faster than most of my regular perfumes do in my collection. That being said, I still think this is one worth checking out. And if you have ever used any of the vacation sunscreens, the fragrance that you smell in those sunscreens is what you are getting in this bottle. So you may already know what this smells like. We're gonna take an in-depth dive through this today. And I'm actually, um, I'm gonna be uploading two in-depth perfume reviews this week because early next week I have a like beachy, coconutty, like, tropical ocean air vibe type recommendation video for you in terms of some summer perfumes that I think are must-haves. Um, the switch has definitely been flipped here in Oregon in terms of summer weather. So um, yeah, we, we're in the 80s and 90s pretty much every day at this point. So I don't know, I feel like it's time to bust out the summer perfumes for sure. So let's go ahead and get into vacation. All right, I will be reading just a little bit of, about this fragrance from the Ulta website. We'll go through the fragrance notes. We're gonna talk about the lasting power of this one because like I mentioned, it is an eau de toilette. So this is not going to last as long as a pure perfume or a eau de parfum even. So we'll get into it. Okay, so let me pull this up here really quickly. Um, uh, vacation. By Vacation Eau de Toilette is the signature scent of the world famous Vacation sunscreen brand. Developed in conjunction with the Ar Arquist, Arquist perfumer. I'm probably not saying that right, but it says Arquist. I, I'm sure that's a company or something. I didn't look into that part. I don't really care. So um, that immerses the wearer in the scent of sunscreen and poolside memories. So this one really does take me back to the early 90s where um, I would wear the, do you guys remember the Hawaiian, it was the Hawaiian Tropic. It was a suntan oil, but it did have an SPF of five. So when I was, you know, 13, 14, I saw SPF of five and thought, I am protecting my skin. I am now at 44 going to the dermatologist every single year of my life because I have a genetic predisposition to melanoma. Of course, did I think about that when I was younger? No, it was fun to have a super dark tan in the summer. And this is now at this point in my life why I'm so pasty. I just avoid the sun altogether. But anyway, hoping this reminds me of my youth when I was able to live a little bit more freely and not worry about all the crappy things in life. Okay, the signature scent of the world famous Vacation Sunscreen com Company featured, it, as featured, <laughs> I promise I can read, in their SPF 30 Classic Lotion. The scent was developed with Carlos Huber and Rodrigo Flores Rue, the perfumers behind Arquist perfum Parfumer and the St. Regis Hotel, which I've never been to because I don't have that much money. That looks like a lovely place though. Have you been? Tell me all about it. I would love to go. Um, this mixes classic sunscreen notes of coconut, banana, pineapple, and orange blossom with classic poolside notes like pool water, pool toy, and swimsuit lycra. Now you might be thinking to yourself, that's weird. It's not. You guys, this is fabulous. These, these dudes knew what they were doing. Formulated without parabens, sulfates, phthalates, artificial dyes, or colorants. This is cruelty-free. 
Um, it is vegan, and they say that this is a genderless scent. Now, I gotta say, I I think anyone should be able to wear whatever fragrance they want, but I still I think of this. I think of this as kind of leaning a little bit more feminine versus more unisex, but you can wear whatever you want. If you want to wear a men's cologne, wear a men's cologne. If you want to wear a women's perfume, wear a women's perfume. Fragrance is supposed to make you happy, but in terms of like that classical, like, you know, does this fall in the more feminine category? Does it fall in the more masculine category or does it fall somewhere in between? A little bit more unisex, if you will. I don't know, I guess, I guess maybe this could be considered unisex, but this is very sweet. And to me, sweeter scents always tend to lean a little bit more feminine, but like I said, none of that really matters. So let's get into a little bit more of the in-depth fragrance notes here. All right, so our top notes are petty grain essence, coconut water, and coconut milk. Your heart notes or your mid notes are bergamot, solar musk, banana, and pineapple. And your base notes are pool water, swimsuit lycra, and sea salt. So this literally is, it is just the essence of summer. That's what this is. This is an incredible scent, you guys. You smell every single note. Um, I even smell the pineapple in here, and normally I do not like pineapple in either personal fragrance or in home fragrance. It smells pretty artificial and kind of gross to me most of the time. I feel like the pineapple that's in here is done quite well. It does not come across as too sour or, it's just really an enjoyable pineapple. I love that banana note in here. The banana is definitely a little bit more of that like uh, candied, like banana uh, Laffy Taffy type vibe, but it totally, like it works. It works in this fragrance. Um, in terms of those top notes of the petty grain essence, the coconut water and the coconut milk, I feel like to me it is mostly that coconut water and the coconut milk. Um, it has a nice creaminess to it. Yeah, that's really the first thing that hits you is those two notes. Um, in terms of the solar musk, that is, this does have kind of an interesting muskiness to it and solar is, I guess, an interesting way to, exp it just smells very fresh and sunny. Like you can almost smell the sunshine in this fragrance. You can smell the pool water. I know that sounds gross, but this does kind of have like a slight chlorinated vibe to it and again it just works and swimsuit lycra now i remember having this swim this was i was a teenager in the early 90s and so those like hyper color swimsuits that were like crazy bright like pink and fuchsia and and blues and like bright neon greens like i had a swimsuit that had all of that going on <laughs> of course a one piece um and I still remember the smell of that swimsuit. Like it just had a very distinct, slightly chlorinated lycra scent to it. And I totally smell that in this perfume. If you were a child of the 80s and 90s, like I think this one here just takes you back. It really, to me, absolutely takes me back to my youth. And this is such a happy, summery, beachy, poolside, interesting, musky, coconutty concoction. This is gorgeous, you guys. And if you have never, ever smelled this one, it is absolutely worth seeking out. If you see this on display at Ulta, run, don't walk, smell it. And just tell me that this doesn't smell like your youth. Oh, it's so good, you guys. I love this one. Now, let's check out the spray on this because it does have a really nice, like, mist type spray, which I absolutely love. You see that? Like, I hate when a perfume just goes splat and, like, doesn't have a nice distribution. That was beautiful. The sprayer on this, fabulous. Again, I don't love how, like, cheap all of this is, but it still works quite well. I just think for the price point, they could invest a little bit more in the packaging, but I don't know, I guess it doesn't really matter. You guys, it's fabulous, but it is an eau de toilette. So what's the lasting power on this? 
I go about, I would say two, maybe three hours before I come become like completely nose blind to this one. So I find myself wanting to reapply this quite often. Um, as such, I, I don't have very much left. Like I'm going to be finished with this like before like summer even really gets going here. Like we're already what in the middle of May. Um, I'm definitely going to be finished with this before June is even over. So I like that I have gone through it as fast as I did, but also there's a part of me that's like, oh, I went through that kind of fast. I just bought it last year, but it is because I feel this need to reapply it. So I think if you were to pair this with the, uh, with the sunscreen, which you should be wearing sunscreen every day anyway, if you layered this with the, uh, vacation sunscreen, I think that you are going to probably get a little bit more out of this in terms of fragrance. But if you are just layering this like on your natural skin, I, I have a feeling you're probably going to want to reapply it as often as I do. In terms of projection, when I first spray this, it's fabulous. Like I've actually gotten a number of compliments on this one. And a lot of women who are kind of in the same age group as me who have said like, oh my God, that smells like summer. And I'm just like, that's exactly what it is. Like it's, it's vacation, you know? And they're like, that makes total sense. So this one here i think is absolutely worth checking out i don't think you are going to get incredible lasting power out of it um it's kind of one of those like you just know that you're going to need to reapply it frequently but it's totally worth the type of fragrances if they came out with like a pure perfume or like even an eau de parfum i would totally be happy to spend twice what i did on this one to get like a stronger more potent version because I, oh, I love this scent, you guys. This is incredibly good, and I think it's a must, must try, especially if you are looking to go back to like the 80s and 90s, even if it's just in your own mind. So anyway, two thumbs up for this one for sure. I highly recommend checking it out. It is amazing, and um, I think a lot of you would really like it as well. So. Um, I'll go ahead and link it in a few different places down below. Let me know if you have tried this fragrance. Let me know what your opinion is on it. And um, I will see you guys either tomorrow or the day after, probably in the exact same outfit because I'm filming a couple videos today. And we're going to be talking about another really great, this time much more affordable perfume option um, that quite frankly has some similar vibes to this one, but we'll get to that one next. All right, you guys have a great rest of your day. Let me know if you have any questions, leave your thoughts on vacation in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.